you want, when you want, on your personal in-flight cinema system. And you can now enjoy the added comfort of enhanced seating in all classes. Singapore Airlines exclusive mega top. More than you ever imagined. Welcome back to Breakfast Briefing on Asia Business News. While many analysts say that when the enthusiasm for the U.S. market subsides, there's a good chance for another bigger rebound in Asian bourses. But the bulls don't seem to have run out of steam in New York yet, and a lack of incentive is keeping traders in Hong Kong under straps. So how should we be playing the Hang Seng? Well, we cross over live to our Hong Kong studio to Philip Chan to find out. Philip is Research Director at Shanghai Hong Kong International Securities in the Territory. Good morning, Philip. Good morning, Karina. Um, first off, do you think that caution is still the operative mode in, mode in the Hong Kong market? I think for the moment, yes, because the, um, in, in the U.S., um, we're, we're very much um, tied to U.S. interest rates, uh, as everybody knows. And uh, until they sort of start coming down um, markedly, I mean, there, there's a hint that they're going to come down um, fairly soon, um, then I don't think that the, the market here is going to really rally. Uh, we've had a short rally recently, but um, it's, been, it's been fizzling out recently. When you say fairly soon, well. um, what kind of time frame are we well, talking about? Yeah, the, the consensus uh, during this recent rally had been that uh, it would be um, within the next couple of months um, that the interest rate cuts would start coming uh, from the U.S., but uh, actually the, the U.S. Um, the U.S. Uh, economy uh, seems to be fairly robust and uh, it could be a bit longer than uh, than what everybody expects before okay. these interest rate cuts come. Okay, given this current environment then, how should we uh, be playing the market? What sectors should we be looking at? Well, I think we should still be sticking with the sectors which um, have been um, recommended since the, since the beginning of the year um, in this more defensive um, environment and those are um, the utilities and um, conglomerates, um, th those sectors have done um, better relative to the other sectors uh, this year. Um, other ones are maybe the financials, the, the smaller financials seem to be quite popular at the moment. Mm -hmm. Okay, what about property? Um, yesterday we had Citic Pacific paying a premium for uh, the right to develop uh, a commercial site in Hong Kong. Um, it seems that the Chinese are more bullish about Hong Kong uh, property than the others are. Um, yes, I think it's, uh, that, that was because they put in the highest bid um, uh, amongst all of the, the bidders. Um, the, uh, I think the other, the other thing that you have to see that this is a, a sm slight exception because the um, CITIC is not known to be a major developer uh, amongst the developers, uh, the group of developers in Hong Kong. Um, they, they probably wanted the, the site, you know, as um, more for you know more for the um, um, the premium value that would attach to this kind of site. Um, I mean, of course, everybody else wanted it as well, but uh, I think they wanted it more than most. Mm -hmm. Okay, what about um, um, the recent brouhaha over mid cap and smaller stocks? Um, are, is it a good time, and are they good value to uh, go into now? I think some of them are yes, but um, the. Uh, I think it re again you've got to be you've got to be selective and um, look at specific industries rather than um, you know just buying buying mid-range stocks um, uh, en masse. Um, they have to be sort of tied to s industries which um, you know which we which you think are going to uh, prosper uh, within this more um, difficult environment operating environment. All right, Philip, I'm afraid we've run out of time, and I have to wrap up with you there, but thank you very much for joining us this morning. Okay, thanks. That was Philip Chan of Shanghai Hong Kong International Securities in the Territory. Well,